Okay, for this particular question, um, one thing that you've got to identify is some keywords. So it asks, on which interval is the function f of x concave up? So since it's talking about concavity, it's talking about the second derivative test. So that right away is where I can go back in my notes and look. Um, now, since it's specifically saying concave up, there's one thing that we know about the second derivative test. That's going to be whenever f double prime is greater than zero or f double prime is positive. So since we don't have f double prime, we need to find it. So we're going to go through this process of actually finding f double prime by first finding f prime using the power rule. So bring down, subtract, bring down, subtract. That's f prime, so now f double prime. Same process, bring down, and subtract. Okay, now, that's f double prime. And since we know um, it needs to be greater than zero, the first thing that we do in the second derivative test is actually find where f double prime is equal to zero. All right, that's going to tell me it's inflection points where it's changing concavity. And then I can look on either side to find out where it's concave up or concave down. So in a problem like this, we would set this equal to zero to find those possible inflection points where it's changing concavity, maybe. And I would add 18 divided by 18. I'm going to get 1. Now, that's not my answer. That's just maybe where it's changing concavity. So this is where we would set up a number line. And we would actually test on either side of that number line. So some numbers that we could potentially plug in would be like, let's see, what's net less than 1? 0. And what's greater than 1? 2. And we can actually pr find those f double prime values at each spot. So if I find f double prime of 0, all we have to do is plug in 0 to f double, double prime, which gives me 0 minus 18, negative 18. And the big thing is here, the double prime value is negative. Uh, and that's what we really need to know, because if the f double prime is negative, we know that that's concave down. Now, we just chose any value that was less than 1, like 0. But I could have chosen negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. And any value that I had plugged in this interval, in this direction, would have given me a negative output for f double prime, resulting in a concave down um, kind of graph. So now we're going to do the same kind of thing and find f double prime for 2, any number that's to the right of 1. Remember that this is where it potentially changes concavity. So if we plug in 2 into that same function, f double prime, we get a positive 18, which we just need to know that it's positive, and that any number to the right of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, if we were to plug it in, we would get a positive number, which tells me concave up. So anything on that interval is going to be concave up. So everything over here is going to be concave up. Um, and that is what that question is asking me. It's asking me on which interval is this concave up. So check the annotations. Check that I had to do the second derivative test. Find when the second derivative was 0. And then I can use numbers on either side of that derivative to actually find if it was concave up or concave down, knowing the sign of the second derivative in each case. So here we would write this answer as 1 to infinity, anything to the right of 1.